A year after being put on hold, the Keystone Pipeline project continues to sit in limbo, but now a bipartisan group of 18 senators is taking action, requesting a meeting with President Obama in the hopes of convincing him to approve the project. Joining us now by phone is North Dakota Republican Senator John Hovind. Senator, thanks so much for joining us. Well, it's so good to be with you. So you put together a letter urging action. I understand you have nine Republicans and nine Democrats banding together. What's the response been so far? Well, we haven't had a response yet from uh, the administration, but we do anticipate uh, hearing from them very soon. Senator Baucus and myself put together a bipartisan group, and it reflects the strong support in Congress for the Keystone XL Pipeline project, which has now been put off for going on five years. And so it's time for the president to make a decision to approve it, and we're going to continue to push until we get it done. You know, Senator, you're always really optimistic about this one. When exactly did you send the letter? <laughs> Send it. Pardon me. When, when, when did, did you send? send it? When did you send it? Yeah. Last week. Last week. Last week, and he hasn't. Resp did you think you would hear by now? <laughs> well, not necessarily. But I tell you what, the uh, there was a demonstration on Sunday, and so we wanted to make sure that we let the administration know. Look, the American people want this project approved, so don't be continuing to delay because of a special interest group. Let's get this done. And I think if he doesn't now. Uh, look, the, the state of Nebraska has done their reroute. They should have the uh, approval up to the White House by the first of the year. And then the administration needs to make a decision. Uh, and, again, we want to demonstrate that there is strong bipartisan support in Congress to get it done. And the Congress should act, needs to act, if the president won't. No, I, I, I hear you. Um, I talked to you the day after the election, I think it was, and you were super optimistic that he would embrace this pipeline now that he was back in office, maybe that a lot of the political hurdles uh, were out of the way. I don't, I don't know if that optimism is totally founded. I mean, what are you going to do if you don't oh, hear back? What's your next no, step? No, I, I think when you and I talked, I said, well, obviously, uh, Governor Romney had indicated he would approve it first day in office. I said with uh, President Obama, it could take us six months if we have to get Congress to do it directly in case he won't. I, so I do believe we're going to get it just because of the, on the merits, we're going to win. We're going to win this on the merits. But if he won't take action, Congress will have to. And I think I told you it could take up to six months. Okay. Yeah. No, thank you for clarifying that. So you think you have the support to go around him if you have to, is the bottom well, line. I, I tell you what, the bill I had that would have approved it directly I had 56 votes in the Senate, and I was missing two Republicans that day. So actually, I was at 58, uh, you know, this past year. And uh, I think if, if the president punts this thing again, uh, I think that we'll get the 60 we need to pass. Okay. And it's already passed. Uh, you know, we've got a similar version that's already passed the House. So, yeah, I believe if he doesn't step up for the American people now and continues okay. to cater to the special interest group, I think we can muster the uh, necessary support in Congress Good for to do you. it. Senator Hovind, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. We're going to follow this story closely. Thanks, Wes. Appreciate it.